I decided that disposing of a body takes way too long because of how slowly Yandere Chen moves when she's dragging a body. So, I decided to give Yandere Chen the ability to pick up a corpse, carry it, and run while carrying the corpse. Yandere Chen's running speed is five times faster than her walking speed, so carrying a body and running is five times faster than dragging a body. In order to unlock the ability to carry a corpse, you must level up your physical education stat. The most efficient way to transport a corpse off of a rooftop would be to drop the corpse off the roof. So, I've given Yandere Chan the ability to drop corpses off the school rooftop. It's only possible to drop a corpse off the roof at specific locations where the railing is low enough. The old corpse disposal animation was a repurposed throwing animation. This looked really weird and awkward, so now Yandere Chan performs a proper corpse disposal animation at the incinerator. I have not been adding new weapons to the game because I only have one attack animation, and I don't want to add more weapons until I have more appropriate animations for each weapon. I decided to add a new weapon to the game because this weapon has important functionality. The new weapon is a circular saw. It would look super lame if the circular saw used the same animation as the other weapons in the game, so I've added one new killing animation. However, what's really special about the circular saw is that it allows you to dismember dead NPCs. After you've dismembered an NPC, you can pick up their body parts and carry them around independently. At this point in time, I'm not ready to demonstrate why dismembering NPCs can be useful. In order to do that, I'll need to implement two new club benefits, implement a new type of NPC, and change the location of the incinerator. Only then will it become clear why the player would choose to dismember an NPC. That's all for this update. If it seems like there aren't very many new features in this build, it's because I didn't have much time to work with. I spent around seven days optimizing and fixing some very inefficient code that had been bothering me for a long time. I still wish I could spend even more time optimizing the code and trying to improve the frame rate, but I don't want to let too much time pass without adding significant new features to the game. Hopefully, by March 1st, everything related to dismemberment will be working properly. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.